Hey folks, today in Valheim I'm going to be showing you how to build a floating base. But not just that, how you could build a floating city. The sky is the limit in this one, and you don't even need mods, just dev commands. So do take into account that this is more of a Valheim creative mode technique. All credit for this method of building floating bases in Valheim goes to Grim Fate Killer. The entire basis of this technique is summoning an item that is not affected by gravity. The crazy thing is, it's just a chest. A specific type of chest. The chest will then act as a ground point that you can build from. In order to put this chest in the sky where you want it, you will need to gain access to developer commands. Be warned that developer commands can only be used by the owner of the world, so if you are on a dedicated server, then I'm not aware of any way you to use dev commands with those, but if you are aware of a way to do this, please do explain it below. I know a lot of people would appreciate it, even if it's just for the ability to spawn items back that were lost due to bugs. I would also warn you against using dev commands in a serious survival playthrough. It will certainly ruin your game and any feeling of accomplishment if you taint it by spawning something in. This technique is great for creative only saves for building awesome things, separate from your progression plays. In Steam, go to the game library and right click Valheim, select properties. At the bottom of the properties window for Valheim there is a text input box called launch options. In this input type dash console. You can now close properties and launch Valheim. Once in the world you've chosen for your epic sky base, press F5 to open the console. Then type dev commands. All one word and lower case, then enter. This will open up the ability to use the spawning commands. Though as this is a guide for creative mode building, you'll also want to do the god command, which will make you impervious to damage and so not die if you fall or get attacked, and then also the command debug mode. Debug mode has a few epic little features. First is flying. You can toggle flying on and off by pressing Z on your keyboard. Next is K, which when pressed will kill all non-tamed mobs around you. Lastly is B, which will toggle on and off the ability for building anything anywhere. You won't need the resource to build it, or a workbench in range, or even know their recipes. You can craft any item in your inventory. You'll need to type these three commands every time you log into the world. Now you are all set up, find the location you would like to build your floating base or crazy city build and stand roughly where you want the base foundation to be. Then open up the console again with F5 and type spawn space treasure chest, capitalizing T and C for treasure chest, underscore meadows underscore buried. Spawn commands are case sensitive, so be sure to type it in exactly as it appears on screen now. This will spawn one of those chests you find buried in the boat graves in the meadows biome, right in front of you. This chest is designed to ignore gravity, as before you dig them up they are just floating there under the map. When you dig down it expands the ground texture downward, eventually exposing the chest. If it were to break like a normal chest, it wouldn't be possible to have them, so hopefully this means Iron Gate won't fix this, and we can have our core creative mode glitch build sky bases. At this stage you can build some wooden beams on top and use it as a ground for your base, though we can take this further, as at this stage you cannot use stone building pieces directly with this chest. In order to do that we're going to have to spawn something else. Grimfake Killer found that you can simply spawn a rock, and provided it is phasing into the chest in some way, the rock will be grounded by the chest and act as a ground itself that is capable of holding up anything. So of course I couldn't just use any rock so I summoned one of those huge rocks you find on the coast of most biomes, and hey presto, we have an enormous floating rock with which to build on. A few things to warn you about are that because this rock is not technically touching any earth, if you break any part of it the rock will explode fully, so don't do that once you've started building. Also if you go very high the game will auto assume you need snow on everything. This isn't really a big issue as the snow looks cool, but when it's in the meadows, the reflections can make it kind of blinding to work with. So as you are building in creative anyway, I would suggest sticking the in-game time to 0.7, which is later on in the day, so no glare, but not too dark. You can set the time of day to 0.7 by opening up the console and typing the command TOD, then a space, and then 0.7. For context, 0.5 is midday. You can also sleep from mid downward, so if you get a storm that is getting in the way, you can just sleep and then adjust the time of day again to shift the weather forward. I'll link a long list of commands in the pinned comment, which will also include the pre-hearth and home known spawn commands. I haven't seen any updated list yet, but you can get pretty much everything you want with what we have here, or even guessing. So for instance if you want tar, then just type spawn space tar, 
space, amount of tile you want, and you've got it. A particularly useful command when building in creative is remove drops, all lowercase and no spaces. This will remove any dropped items within your loaded range, which really helps keep things clean when building. To test this all out, I made a fun little mini tower on a big rock above the ocean using a lot of the new building parts from Hearth and Home. I was particularly happy with how crystal walls look with the blue light torch behind it, as well as the dark wood beams adding some fantastic detail to otherwise flat outer surfaces. This was a fun little build, but if you guys are interested in seeing a particularly insane floating build using this technique, let me know in the comments. If there's enough interest, I'll go a tad overboard and build something pretty spectacular. If you find folk try this technique and make a floating build of your own, I'd super love to see it. We have a Valheim image channel on the Zane's World Discord that is linked in the pinned comment below, so please whack a bunch of screenies in there so we can learn better building techniques and ideas from each other. Be sure to subscribe for more Valheim guides, tips and tricks, let's plays and live streams, and ring the bell so you never miss an upload. Supporting Zane's World is easy, just hit the like button and share with your friends, though if you want to go that extra mile we have a Patreon and a YouTube memberships, as well as a merch store. All linked below in the pinned comment. Have a fantastic day all.